Chris, how are you doing? Welcome to Naya. Same as awesome, Naya. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, sit hard, kindly smash that subscribe button and turn your notification so you are notified each time I upload. And please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much, and I'm saying a very big shout out to you all for the love, the support you all shower me here with. I am grateful, and you all are super sweet. So today we'll be talking something very important, and it's about a video like people are not finding that video funny, and it's about a pastor. Who actually came out to say that uh women who end i mean like you know who ends up not getting married not having kids and uh are gonna end up lonely and wanting to have multiple cards and end up with scds and all that just because they probably do not want to get married or they do not want to have kids I do not see anything wrong in not wanting husband or not wanting kids. I have also seen men who are not married, who do not have kids. That is what they want. Some just want to be in a relationship without having all those, right? Which is not wrong. But being a pastor, I'm coming to the pulpit to tell people that are people that do that are feminists. And in the end, they are going to be lonely and have multiple cats. And then end, end up with diseases and all that is just a horrible thing to say. And let's stop manipulating people into what they do not want. It is okay for a woman not to want to marry. It is okay for a woman not, uh, not want to have kids. There is nothing wrong with that. I see a lot of men also doing it. That is what they want. If that brings them peace of mind, trust me, uh, stop uh, uh, saying that they are going the wrong way. And I am sure most of married people are not as happy as those are. I mean, can we, not, uh, can we really be truthful that I am not married and I probably might not speak for married people, but I know that a lot of people are really not happy in their marriages. I really want to pull out. So I really want to leave the marriage, but just maybe the man is the breadwinner and all that. They stay back. I am rolling this clip. We'll come back to talk about it. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. So straight up, let's get it. Lied to feminist women talking about how wonderful their life is because they don't have a husband, they don't have children. So they're showing, oh, today I slept in, I went to the spa, I went to Belize. They just talk about how nice their life is because they don't have the inconvenience of a husband and children. And these are young women who have been perpetually lied to. And I'm just telling you, if they do a follow-up at 50, <laughs> they're not going to be happy. They're going to be working late. They're going to be lonely. They're going to have seven cats and a couple of STDs. And then it Christmas, they're going to be all alone, very sad. And what they're not going to post is, I'm winning. By now, you're all aware of the loneliness epidemic that's going on with single men. And what I find really interesting is the amount of men that are coming to their aid. And rather than trying to encourage these men to be better catches, to encourage these men to be better partners, they'd rather try to guilt trip and shame women for not choosing them. Whether it's Tyler Perry saying, even if all he could do is pay the light bill, if he loves you, take him. And now you have this pastor. A pastor sounds like he's listening to these Manosphere podcasts. Even the pastor is saying that you're going to die alone. Even the pastor is saying that you might as well get you some cats. You didn't get that out of a Bible, pastor, but you did get it from a podcast. Why not tell these men to be better? Why not tell them to be more emotionally intelligent and to help out around the house and to, to be caring and thoughtful and loving and to not think that everything revolves around them? As soon as women start decentering men, you start seeing men from the pulpit to the parking lot sliding down the wall, throwing up and crying and all of that. It's like, They'll do anything but change. They'll do anything but improve. They'll do anything but be a better mate. So now you have this pastor trying to guilt trip and shame women for not choosing these men. There's a reason why they're not getting picked. You tell women to pick better. And when we're not picking you, you get mad about it. It's because you're not better. Telling a woman that she'll be better off with just any of these men than being alone. There are worse things than being single. There are worse things than being alone. The worst thing is actually being with somebody that makes you feel alone. But here they are fr from the pulpit pushing on you. You know what? You better get somebody because you're getting older. So is he. And if he's worried about being older and being alone, then he better step it up. I'm not even a single woman, but it's exhausting to me. The amount of people that don't believe that you can be single and be happy. 
They could believe that you could be a George Clooney and a Leonardo DiCaprio. You could be a bachelor into your 30s and 40s and 50s and nobody bats an eye. I bet he's having the time of his life. But if a woman does it, oh, I'm sure she's miserable. Not every woman is built for that. Not every woman wants that. But she's selfish if she doesn't choose that. Because her life is all supposed to be about service and servitude to some dusty man. They hear you, pastor, but they're not buying it. They're, they're not going to let you convince them that they're not happy when they know that they are. They would much rather be single and selective and, and waiting until they find somebody that's worthy of their choice. than just settle for anybody because the men out here are lonely. They're going to stay that way until they make themselves better choices. There's a woman on here that has two dogs and they are absolutely adorable. And she takes really good care of those dogs. Like she bathes them, gives them these like spa treatment for the dogs. I'm talking about cooking steaks for the dogs. Like the dogs eat better than some human beings. And it's just a single woman just taking care of those dogs. She treats them like they're her children. The men in the comment section, the way that they are jealous of literal animals, the way that these puppies have these men they're boxers in a bunch. It is insane. But they feel like all that effort is wasted. Like, because they want one of them to deserve all that effort. Why isn't she making a steak for one of us? Why isn't she um, clipping our toenails? Why isn't she do like, sir, some of these men, they only think that women are here for their utility. You're only here to be in service to one of them. So if, if you're out here and you're not serving one of them, they feel like your life is being wasted. How dare you cook and clean and you're not doing it for one of us? Cha. Lied to feminist women talking about how wonderful their life is because they don't have a husband, they don't have children. This is why they attacked that woman. There was a woman who made this video and I talked about this in another video, but she made a video um, about being a 29 year old woman who is child, it's like a day in the life type of video. And the men started attacking her because they can't let it get out that single women are happy. They really don't want you to know how amazing it is to have your own life without having to worry about a husband or children dragging you down. They don't want us to think that the single life is something that we should aspire to because then they lose access to women. Their dating pool gets smaller when women are starting to leave it. So they have to convince us to stay. And they do that by making single life seem absolutely miserable. And we all know that single life is only miserable to men. The men are lonely, and not us. Because men think that romantic connections are the only connections that matter. Meanwhile, they're lonely um, and they have no one to talk to or f go to for support because they don't have friends, they don't have coworkers, they don't have family members to, d to depend on. And women have all those things. We value connections outside of romantic ones. It's all just projection. Also, <laughs> he calls it feminist women when honestly being single is common sense in 2023. Men have a habit of calling things feminist that are outside of their norm. Baby, it's not feminism. It's common sense. You won't protect us. You're not funny. You're emotionally immature and you're non-supportive. The man folk want you to change instead of changing themselves to meet you where you are. That ain't gonna fly. <laughs> if you want a woman, you have to work for it. You can't continue to shame women into getting in bed with you. It's so funny how back in the day, you know, uh, the whole narrative with men was that they don't want to be tied down to just one woman. Now men want to be tied down. As a matter of fact, they're trying to shame women into tying them down. <laughs> at it. Misogynists are in a race against time because the happy single woman rhetoric is gaining traction. It's gaining speed. Meanwhile, their old washed up rhetoric that women should be in a relationship and have a husband and children, that's starting to die. It's getting slower and slower. It's at the back of the line. Who do you think is going to win this race? <laughs> lied to feminist women talking about how wonderful their life is because they don't have a husband, they don't have children. Does anybody find it strange how desperately men are trying to get women to reconsider this whole single and childless thing? Because it doesn't make any sense. As a man, why are you so concerned about what women choose to do with their lives? It doesn't affect you in any way. If you want a wife, go get one. If you want children, hopefully your wife can give you some. 
Why are you desperately trying to convince women that it's to their detriment to not want a husband and to not want children? I mean, I already know why, but I want to see if men are truly as logical as they say they are. And if they're going to come to the logical conclusion for why a bunch of men who have no nothing to do with how women live their lives are so concerned about women not wanting to be married and not wanting to have children. Let's hear it lied to feminist women talking about how wonderful their life is because they don't have a husband they don't have children it is not a woman's problem that you men are lonely the only reason why people like this pastor and other men like him like the red pill people and blah 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 and the ones that sit here and say that men are um come 2020 or 2035 you know um there's going to be more unmarried single people has nothing to do with us. We do not care. We surely do not give a fuck. So when y'all sit here and say that we're gonna end up alone, we're fine being alone. Like, I don't understand. Like, we're not out there bombarding men trying to get their numbers. We're not putting our hands on men because they said no to our advances. I keep saying this. The dating pool is very suspect. You know what I didn't see this pastor say? Anything about men stop being bitches. I did not see that. Now don't get me wrong. There are several good men on this app who actually tell other men that they should stop being bitches. But the problem is, is that there's too many of the people of the red pill podcasters who sit here and act like a woman is supposed to just get on her hands and knees and give you the moon and the stars while you just give her the bare fucking minimum. Okay. You men want, so a lot of you men want to listen to the, the fucking red pill podcasters, the fucking, um, Kevin Samuel sympathizers and the Andrew Tate butt lickers. Y'all want to listen to that and then sit here and boo hoo about why y'all are lonely. It is not even because y'all are lonely. Y'all even said at, you know, when that moment that you don't even want your, that you don't even want to be with your girl anymore. Okay. Then break the fuck up then and let her move on no what it is is that they need somebody to clean up after them it has nothing to do with oh they're lonely it has everything to do with the fact that they want a live-in housekeeper that they fuck every now and again and make her you know have babies and then you know she's still stuck doing everything that's it that's it <laughs> because there's been multiple stories on here where men not doing anything and women doing all the work now don't get me wrong there are a lot of men on here who are doing that but there are more men who don't treat their woman properly everybody sees that and we're just like absolutely not and then you have women that take um videos of going on a date with a guy and he's mad disrespectful like this one video i did where she went on a date you know she said i got my bill he's like no i got it she's like no i can pay for my food we can split the check what pissed me off about that was that when she said that she's gonna go upstairs and go to bed he was pushing her to for them to to go to her room she's like no she's trying to give him every fucking like excuse in the book as to why and then he's like, oh, I see what it is. I see what it is. You just wanted a free meal. And I, she's like, bitch, I said I would pay for my food. That's another thing. Women, if you're going to go on a date, please make sure you bring your own night with you because these men think that they can get some coochie out of just a meal. So don't do that. Don't do that. But furthermore, Y'all, you men, some of you men want to keep continuously listening to the wrong people. Fine, by all means. But when y'all start realizing that they gave y'all misinformation, it's going to be too late for y'all. And we're still going to be enjoying our pets and plants. 
A lot of people have plans to. Lied to feminist women talking about how wonderful their life is because they don't have a husband, they don't have children. So they're showing, oh, today I slept in, I went to the spa, I went to Belize. They just talk about how nice their life is because they don't have the inconvenience of a husband and children. And these are young women who have been perpetually lied to. And I'm just telling you, if they do a follow-up at 50, <laughs> they're not gonna be happy. They're gonna be working late. They're gonna be lonely. They're gonna have seven cats and a couple of STDs. And then it Christmas, they're going to be all alone, very sad. And what they're not going to post is, I'm winning. Uh, 47 here, three years until 50. And um, well, actually two and a half years. I'm excited about that. Um, so now, first it was podcast guys. And now it's pastors. And mind you, there's another video that I was going to do um, in response to about a pastor who got on the pulpit pretty much telling women um, that unless they do something to, um, I guess, show the men that we have a brain, um, men are only going to see us for sex because they have to dispel their semen. I'm not lying. I'm not even going to do the re rebuttal on that because it was so stupid. But just look it up. I'm pretty sure you can Google it. But this pastor has decided that women at 50 are going to check in and be alone. Um, for some reason, I don't know why we have cats. Um, and then I'm working late. I don't know why would I work late. Um, and then apparently there's something wrong with going to Belize. So he doesn't believe in travel. Um, alone at Christmas. So you have no family like everybody passed. I'm trying to figure out where everybody went. Um, so I need men who think that women are just here to make gravy from scratch and change diapers to stop getting on the mic like you know can we stop getting on the mic um and then there was another video um my cousin had put on her page about um should men should get served first at dinner and i'm just really trying to understand What's wrong with their arms? I, you know, and it's what's going on in between, you know, their, their beard. There's a beard here. There's something in between here. It just, what's happening? And my thing is, I don't mind making a plate for the man that I love. But the patriarchal idea that that's all I'm supposed to do and um, sit around and wait for him to get home raise these kids and don't say nothing you know don't make any waves and you know just serve your man yeah i'm not doing that okay been letting it for those that like to bring up the bible they like to skip the part you know women submit to your husbands that's in the bible yeah go a scripture before that baby okay because you're only stuck on ephesians 5 22 we need you to go before that when it says that husbands and wives are to submit to one another. But I digress. Um, yeah, so if I'm 50 and I'm not married, baby, <laughs> I'm not lonely. I'm not alone. I'm thriving. I'm happy with every decision that I've made. And so are a lot of women, you know. And I think men are nervous because... At the end of the day, some of these men realize they bring nothing to the table but a penis and a check. And, you know, it's not enough. Who's going to tell them? Lied to feminist women talking about how wonderful their life is because they don't have a husband, they don't have children. Go watch her video. She cooks every time. When it comes to um, this topic here, she cooks every time. But this is what I'm getting so tired of. Every day, hopping on here and seeing one of you motherfuckers sing the same old song and dance. As if you know what women are thinking. Oh, she, they be, they really trick themselves into believing that they're happy without a husband and kids. And they're going to have seven cats and they're going to wake up alone and da 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 da. They're going to be sad at 50. I am so fucking sick of y'all thinking y'all can speak for women. 
Oh my God. Y'all really cannot come to terms with the fact that women are really out here happy and that they're not centering their lives around getting a man. Y'all really cannot come to terms with the fact that there are women out here who does not think having kids and getting married is a fucking goal because it's not if you really think about it. Yes, I'm sitting up here every day crying over the fact that I don't have I don't have rugrats running around that's going to get on my nerves. I got to pick up after and I have to anyway. <laughs> and yes, I am sitting here just crying and mad at the fact that I don't have another grown ass person that I'm going to have to pick up after because he act like that he can't pick up a broom, rattle a pan or wash a dish. Cause Oh, Oh my God. That is such a terrible life. Like, get over the fact that y'all are not being centered in women's lives anymore. And this projection of y'all's is getting out of hand. It is getting fucking ridiculous. And if y'all gonna keep projecting, cool. Can y'all sing another song and dance already? Because let's be real. We have women out here who would rather have cats, dogs, turtles, mice, or whatever than to put up with y'all. So the fact that y'all are keep getting on here singing this whole song and dance as if the problem is us just tricking ourselves into believing we want to be single and not the fact that a lot of you motherfuckers just really aren't worth the effort. But of course, that what means that y'all will have to take accountability for a fact that a lot of y'all really just ain't shit. And we kind of know that that's not going to happen. So it's very easy to just keep hopping on here. And projecting y'all fears of loneliness onto us. It's ridiculous at this point And it's embarrassing. Cut it out. Okay. Cut it out. We're not sitting up here crying over the fact. That we ain't got no motherfucking man. Who's more than likely going to weaponize his incompetence. And we're glad. And we're not sitting up here crying over the fact. That we don't have kids. That you, most of y'all are not going to even help take care of anyway. Just stop. Lied to feminist women talking about how wonderful their life is because they don't have a husband, they don't have children. Okay, let's go with your logic. And I use that term very loosely. But all these single women who have no children and dote on their pets are just going to be lonely old cat ladies. And they fully believe they're going to be lonely old cat ladies. And they still choose that fate over being with somebody like you. Because you are the worst option. You know the expression. Better to be alone and lonely than with someone who makes you feel like you're alone. And just someone who's ungrateful, period. No matter how you cut this, you, sir, are still the worst option. Lied to feminist women talking about how wonderful their life is because they don't have a husband, they don't have children. This man's just getting in the pulpit and talking about that crap because it's just like the Americans that are all scared about people coming over from other countries. You know, we, the American people, gave the Indians uh, smallpox blankets. So to me, that's what the people that are crying about immigration are afraid of. So my opinion is that men that have to get in pulpits and talk like this in front of a whole congregation, they're really scared that they are going to be the lonely ones at 50, 60, and 70 with no wife to take care of them, nobody to come visit them in the nursing home because we as women have finally realized the crap that men put us through and we get done with it. Yeah, that's what the men are afraid of. That's it. That's it. Lied to feminist women talking about how wonderful their life is because they don't have a husband, they don't have children. I have a few things to say about this, but the first thing is, is that the way that people are trying to tell women that they're going to be alone because they don't want to be married or have children is actually insane because they used to tell men that being alone was the best option, but now women are listening to that. I just think that's hypocritical. Um, second, the people that are telling us not to get married are people that are married. You know how many times women that are in my life that are married tell me not to get married? 
It's not our fault that you are showing that marriage is unappealing. Having children is unappealing. Just leave us alone. So this is all I got from the stitches and <clears throat> I don't know, <clears throat> excuse me, I really don't understand what the pastor was trying to teach and all of that because like, you know, I think he really went far without his preaching. But let me start with, uh, number one is that not wanting a man or not wanting to marry or not wanting a child got nothing to do with feminism or and all of that. Some people just do not want to have children. Some want to be married and not have children. Some don't want to marry and have children. So people, uh, I have seen people that are, uh, okay, people that I know also said, I don't want to marry. I do not want a husband and I do not want a child. Some are like, I want, but I don't want kids. So can we normalize, like, you know, understanding that some people just do not want kids. And that doesn't mean that they are going to end up being lonely. They know, so most, of, most of you already know that. The implications of not having children, maybe when they get old, they might be lonely and all of that. Uh, so I am sure they know all of this and still choose not to be married. I have also seen men. I have an uncle. Who is still not married to this very moment i don't know why he just doesn't want to marry and nobody's pushing him to go and marry go and he doesn't want and he doesn't even have a child so that is what he wants i also see men doing that and it got nothing to do with women this way i think it's I, I don't know but i mean can they just cut this crap of all the time wanting to like you know drag women into their stories and into their things to make it feed or make them look great and all that. I mean, there is nothing great about that same one that he was, he preached like, you know, and saying that uh, maybe when they start getting old, they know they have STDs and all that. Some of them do not even want something going on for them, like, you know, probably being in a relationship or doing some stuff. Or some just want to be in a relationship with somebody and not having to bother of having kids and all that. Can we just uh, normalize, like, you know, uh, uh, seeing people happy i mean letting people do their thing without us interfering in what they want or trying to give them names for what they say they want i mean there is nothing feminism or feminist about them not wanting a husband or not wanting kids it is just what they want and i see also men doing the same thing that that doesn't mean that they are going to end up being lonely they already knew that this is the life they want this is the part they want and it might end up like you know they may end up being lonely and it's also all beautiful and all free waking up and not having anyone to like bother you i mean you have you don't have, know the i mean the what you are missing i am a single young lady and all i do is work and it feels amazing waking up every day to nobody disturbing you nobody like you know trying to get you sad and all that. It's just so beautiful. All I do is wake up, probably get my food ready, go to work, do my work, come back. I mean, it comes with, I mean, the peace that comes with it is like on map. So let's stop uh, making people feel bad for not being in a relationship or not wanting a relationship or not wanting to marry or not wanting to have kids. That is what they want and let them be, let them enjoy their lives. I mean, enough of all these uh, uh, jargons people come online to talk about and uh, try to get trip people into some certain things. So this is all I got to say. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.